Hi, I'm Kim Crossley. I'm one of the cutters in the large wardrobe of the Stratford Festival. And these costumes are some of the items we're working on for two of the leads in Camelot, Mordred and Lancelot. This is the first outfit that Mordred will be in, appearing in. And he has a doublet and a tabard. This is Lancelot's big deal when he gets knighted. He has a fabulous blue cape that will go along with it and a big chain of office for when he gets his knighthood. Well, all in all, to absolutely finish them, it can take anywhere from 50 to about 70 hours. I'm first given the designer's sketches and sometimes we're given references from either historical works of art, paintings, movies, any kind of picture of something similar that they've seen that influenced their choices. And we discuss where they would like seams, where they'd like closures. Is it gonna be a quick change? Are we gonna to have to hide something? Or does it need pockets? There's all kinds of details that you have to work out beforehand. But my job as a cutter is to create the patterns and to, once the fabric is chosen by the designer, to cut out the, the fabric in all the pieces that it needs to be to figure out how it goes together and to be able to communicate that to the sewers and then they in turn do the actual sewing and putting it all together. After we get the sketch, we start doing some pattern research and to see what some of the shapes look like and uh, what the designer actually wants to become uh, three-dimensional. So uh, books that we use, historical references. This is for Marcus Nance. He's one of the ensemble. He'll wear this in the court scene. And then this is his May Day. And then this is his herald. Uh, Mock-up is like a, a test run of your pattern. And you can fit it right onto the body. So we usually do it in a cheaper fabric, something that's a similar weight, so you do get an idea of what is happening with the real fabric. And, uh, and you get a good shape and fit from there. So from that, you can pencil on it and draw on it and uh, bring it to real fabric, so. Yeah, it's a little combination garment between something that we need for a fit specific for technically for fitting someone and, and also for the designer to sort of see a preliminary idea of their design. At the moment I'm working on uh, some, some pieces for Morgan Le Fay, who is going to be played by Lucy Peacock. This, uh, this particular piece I had to find uh, an amulet for, for Lucy Peacock for her, her role and an amulet I found in, in my reference was, uh, could be anything from a, a strange little object or something magical to, a, to a neck, an ordinary necklace that would be interesting. This one is again for Lucy Peacock as Morgan Le Fay, and this piece is going to work out to be a belt. And I take, I find the pieces, the findings to go, that I'd like to work with to, to achieve a particular look and, and start and piece them together. And I'll do a layout and I'll photocopy it and make sure the next, when I go to work on it, I've got it how I originally planned and see, see how it grows. Um, the next thing that I'm working on is, is a chain of office for King Arthur. And um, th there again, this is something I had, to, I had to think about in the back of my mind for a while and, and collect the, the particular findings that I thought would reveal the, the actual historical time, but at the same time, that legendary magic that's within the Camelot story. We do have a lot of stock items we've built up over a number of years, and sometimes we will use different um, time periods, adapt them a little bit and size them, which is what I'm, I'm doing on Chain of Office for Lancelot. Yes, yeah, so I, I really enjoyed working with Mara Blumenfeld on Evita, and I um, so was very pleased to be able to have the opportunity to work with her again on this show.